Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and if you're the owner of a Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this video because there's some important recall information that you should know about that has to do with the printer's potential to have unstable temperatures and heating issues. And I'm going to tell you what those issues are and also what you need to do if you want to get yourself a replacement for this particular part or even if you want to get a whole new printer altogether. So let's check it out here on the Bamboo Lab blog. So they wrote a pretty lengthy blog post here that explains everything. And as I said, they uh, had a few feedback concerning unstable temperature readings and heating issues with their A1 printers. And after they conducted an investigation, it says that we, we need to take action to ensure the reliability and safety of our products. So the investigation has revealed that the cause of these issues is linked to the damage at the root of the cable, which is the connecting point of the heat bed cable and the base of the printer. To a very small portion of A1 printers, excessive bending caused by external force leads to damage at the cable at the root. This damage might not be a might not immediately cause the cable to fail, but it will make the cable more susceptible to fatigue and damage in later use. Although the fuse on the heat bed will prevent the bed from overheating and the fuse on the power supply will prevent any short circuits from developing into any meltdown, this damage will affect the reading of the temperature and may cause power loss or even short circuits. Circuits. We think it is a serious threat to the safety that we should address. Now, first of all, I do definitely want to give Bamboo Labs a lot of credit for coming out and trying to get ahead of this and addressing that there is an issue and they're going into some pretty uh, nice detail about exactly what happened. So they have a few different factors for why they think um, some of these A1 printers have developed this type of damage. One of the potential reasons has to do with rough handling during transportation, like dropping the package in certain directions so that the root of the cable is impacted or during installation, if the base is vertically placed on the table with the cable side on the bottom, all the weight of the printer will be concentrated on the root of the cables and cause damage, or after the installation, the cable's root on the printer base is impacted by external force by accident. And they have these pictures here that if you have this printer, you'll be able to look and sort of get a feel for whether or not your, your printer has this type of problem with this cable. So it says if the cable is damaged, you can clearly observe abnormalities on the cable's insulation layer. So you can kind of see what they're talking about right here. And then they also have a reference of what a healthy cable should look like. So you kind of see how this bottom picture here where my mouse is, it looks really nice and smooth right here at the base. But the damage printer, you see how it's like sort of bulging a little bit like this. So that's how, that's how you know if you got yourself a damaged cable. Now, here's what you need to do if you have this printer and you have an issue. Now, first of all, if you don't have an issue, that's great. You don't have to send it in or anything like that, but they are going to be providing some protection for that cable so that you won't have to worry about that problem uh, in the future. And this is what they have for you here. So if your cable is intact, they are going to be providing a cable protector that they've created that acts as an extra stress relief. It takes 30 seconds to install without any need for any additional tools and is going to restrict the cable's bending a angle, thereby offering pre preventative protection. They're going to be sending those cable protectors to all their customers within the next month who have made purchases from them. And then they really strongly recommend that you install that as soon as as you get in, you make sure that you unplug the printer before you do it. Now, if you want to have that now and you don't want to wait for them to send you the part, then they are also providing a 3MF file for the cable protector that you can download for free. You can print one yourself and then you can use that for your printer instead. Now, if you do have a damaged printer, this is what you'll need to do. All right, so you're gonna head over to this website. I'll leave a link in the description to this official Bamboo Lab blog, and they're going to have a link, which I'll also leave there. And once you go to that link, you have to make sure that you provide a picture of the cable at the root. They're gonna take a look at it and provide diagnosis. And if they determine that you need a replacement, they're gonna recommend that you stop using the printer until the necessary repairs or replacements have been conducted. You have the option of replacing the cable yourself. It says that we will send you a revised replacement assembly for the heat bed. 
so it'll save you the trouble of wiring the heat bed in within the following two weeks as well as compensation for your time invested in replacing the module but if you don't want to do that if you don't want to tinker with anything because these are bamboo lab printers and that's one of the big selling points for them is just plug and play and go you don't have to mess with anything and if you don't want to do that um, you can get a printer replaced entirely all right it says that we will we completely understand and we will replace the whole printer for you all right so i am going to go to this link where you can reach out to their customer support and um, you see here is what that page looks like here and you are going to have to uh, sign in to your bamboo lab and maker world account or create an account if you want to go forward with that so yeah just make sure that you do that and then you'll be able to go through the steps to get either your replacement parts or your replacement printer they also have a short FAQ set up here on their blog that answers some very important questions such as whether or not it's still safe to print with your A1. And basically the answer is as long as you don't see any obvious damage, then yeah, it's still safe to print with that printer. However, they still strongly recommend that you install that cable protector either by waiting for them to send you one and then you put it on your printer or printing it yourself and then putting it on yourself. Your warranty is not affected. The factory warranty with your printer is with your printer is not going to be affected by this and um, if you do have a different shipping address to receive the cable protector like if you moved that's okay you just have to contact customer service and they'll sort that out for you and last but not least the a1 mini is not affected by this just the larger a1 printer so that's it you guys i hope this information was helpful for you and i am going to leave a link in the description as well as a pinned comment that will link to this blog post so that you can read it for yourself and find that link where you'll be able to upload the photo of your cable and have bamboo lab determine whether or not you need a replacement and then you can go from there thank you all so much for watching until next time take care of yourselves and your a1 printer and i'll speak to you soon